And let's take a look at what's next in Libya. For that, let's turn to CBS News military analyst and retired Army Colonel Jeff McCoslin. Colonel, good morning to you. Thanks for Russ, coming good in. good morning to you. We appreciate it. Let's talk about what's going on in northern Libya. Very busy week there. We just heard about Zawiya. What else is happening? Well, what's going on, Russ, is, of course, is the rebels have been steadily advancing from the west, as we suggested here a moment ago, now apparently controlling this critical town of Zawiya, which is critical in providing an access road for Gaddafi to leave the country or for supplies to arrive from Tunisia. They also appear to control the city of Garyan, also critical and important because the road network which would allow egress into Niger or Algeria or perhaps on to Chad. And at the same time, we've seen the rebels making steady progress from the west, now controlling the city of Briga. Well, Colonel, after all this time, why do you think the rebels have been able to be successful now in Zawiya? A little unclear. Probably because Gaddafi's forces are weakening. They're losing their support within the country, not access to large-scale supplies in terms of ammunition. There have been some reports of some of his forces actually defecting. What we've got here, of course, is him isolated by land by the rebels. Offshore, of course, a large-scale uh, NATO naval flotilla, which prevents any other supplies from arriving, and a NATO air cap over the country. We've now flown 17,000 air sorties Seven. over uh, Tripoli, 30 miles away from Zawiya. What's preventing the rebels from going in there right now? I think what they've got to do is they've got to mass combat power to do that. Getting to Tripoli is one thing. Taking to Tripoli is another thing totally. This is a city of one million people. When we get into house-to-house -house fighting, use of NATO air support is going to become, at best, problematical. The rebels are probably going to want to mass more forces, more supplies, more ammunition before they begin that last big push on the city, should they need to do that. We heard reports as early as last week that Gaddafi is definitely on the ropes. He may be getting out of town. Apparently there was a plane there last Sunday to take him out. Obviously that didn't happen. Those reports are intensifying now. There are also reports that as the rebels get closer, Gaddafi's sh troops may start shooting civilians. What are you hearing about that, Kurt? Well, certainly that's been the case in the past. That's why the ICC, in fact, has indicted Gaddafi and his son as, a, as war criminals for allowing their forces to do that. But there's a real possibility this could be the last stand for Gaddafi. Will he, in fact, flee the country? Many people believe his own advisors have said who've defected, that he's a megalomaniac, paranoia. Will this be a stand? Will he go down fighting? Or will he try to depart the country? President Obama and others since day one, months ago, have been saying Gaddafi must go. Is this a question of be careful what you wish for? Because the rebels now are all over the place. What happens if he does leave? Certainly the end game here is going to be very messy. We really got three military operations going on, one in the west, one in the central part of the country, and one in the eastern part of the country. These rebel forces are largely divided. We've even seen cases where in the last few weeks they killed one of their principal general officers, General Jonas. Their unity right now is tenuous. When that that, that focal point of Gaddafi disappears, will they be able to maintain unity, or are we going to see infighting amongst rebel groups in a post-conflict phase yeah. remains to be seen. These next few days seem to be very critical. You agree? Without a doubt. Okay. Colonel Jeff McCausland, as always, thank you so much. Russ, thanks very it. much.